Hello, this is Peter Haywood, and this is Let's Play EcoQuest. Uh, I've got some news. From last time when I saved, I went to load it, and it refused to load. It came up with some weird explosion error, so I've actually just played through to where I was on a different version. Unfortunately, this version, as you'll see, where are we? doesn't have voice, so they, the mysterious lady voice will not be reading this out, uh, which means I'll have to actually stay on them if you want to read what's going on. So I watched through my video from last time and I started to talk about a few things and they've actually finished it so as I said I know this room very well so I'll quickly finish everything you can do in this room while I talk about what I didn't finish talking about last time which was girls and gamings. Now I'm not, I'm not saying that there are no girl gamers that would be ridiculous I know many of them myself but in a, in a media interpretation I suppose hey we see that ship later the one off the side uh, in the media, common media perception of gamers is that it's primarily a male-dominated field, and I actually read through the credits of this, and I spotted six names total out of about 30 different people who worked on this game who were male, uh, who were female. Out of the 30 people who worked on this game, five or six were female, the rest were male. And it occurred to me that the main character of this is male. I'm going to say this gerbil's male as well, because Adam refers to it as a he. I think Adam referred to it as a he. Um... And yeah, I think it's interesting... Okay, what else have I got to do? Oh, that's right, I was going to show you some stuff that you can do in this room. So we have here the EcoQuest hint book, a bit of fourth wall breaking there. If you go up and touch this thing, it snaps at you. If you walk down here, Adam pops up and squirts you with a water gun. And if you try to leave the room... No, 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 try to leave the room. I'm not saying do that again. It's very funny, we're all very impressed Adam, but come over here. He doesn't want to go outside, because he doesn't know the kids. If you look at the computer for a second time after you've found the information, you get a shot of King's Quest, which is a nice little easter egg. And this world, if you talk to it, you talk to America, you talk to South Africa, talk to Australia, g'day mate, that's where I'm from, if you can't tell from the accent. Talk to Africa, they say blah blah blah. No, they say Zivarati. And if you talk to France, you get talk to Europe, you get bonjour. I think that's all of them. That's a nice little, uh, nice little thing. So that's everything you can do in this room. Nothing you can do with the raincoat, and I don't think you can use any of the items that I have on anything else. Yeah, show it to him; he'll be impressed. No, I've got distracted again, haven't I? So, in a game, uh, a game such as this, most games actually, this was actually the passcode, the, the copy protection for the game. If you didn't have this code, you couldn't play the rest of it. So you'd, you'd come up with that. But because this is a illegal version, I can put any code and get in. So, uh, yeah, most, most characters in games, this version also freezes up when you go from room to room, it's really annoying. Most characters in games are male, and most covers will have, you know, scantily dressed females on them. And this is this comes from the idea that mostly, uh, in in this bit, I'm just going to follow these instructions. So I'll keep talking while I do it. This comes from the idea that mostly males play games, but it's kind of self fulfilling. If mostly males play games, but they're always male characters, and the what do I do next? I feed him a fish. And most covers are stuff like uh, scantily dressed females. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to feed you, Dolphin. Then it's, it's self-perpetuating. I mean, I don't know any girl who's going to see a picture of a scantily clad female and go, oh, this is obviously a game designed for girls. They're going to go, no, this game is designed for the teenage male market. I'm not interested. And I'm a male. I like scantily dressed females as much as the next character. But I have no trouble with playing a female character in a game. The best game that's done this is Portal, in which you play... The main character, Chell, is female. The main antagonist... What's her name? Uh... So this is a triumph lady. She's a female, and all of the turrets are actually voiced by females as well, so it's an entirely female-based game. There's no males whatsoever involved in that game. And as a male, I didn't have a problem with that. I didn't go... Oh, that's right, I have to climb in first. I didn't go, there's a female main character, I don't want to play this. I, I, it didn't even bother me at all. So this idea that games are... That males won't play games if a female's a main character, maybe that's true if you're six, but even then I doubt it. Like. 
as a, as a kid, I just didn't care. So I thought it was interesting that the two females, Roberta Williams and Jane Jensen, who created this game, they created King's Quest, and Jane Jensen went on to do the Gabriel Knight series. All of those have male protagonists because games are a male industry, despite the fact that they're all created by females. I thought it was really odd. Really interesting, I suppose, not odd. So while I'm playing this, I'm going to be playing a game called Spot the Female Character. None so far. So far we've met me, the dad, the gerbil, and the dolphin, all of which are male. And I suspect as we go through the game, the majority of characters we meet will be male, because I guess 50% of the population just doesn't count. I find it a really interesting topic. I'm a writer and I'm always trying to write female characters. Not because it's hard or anything like that, just because I think there's a distinct lack of particularly funny female characters. I mean, recently it's gotten a lot better, I'm not denying that. But you look at it like a classic show like Red Dwarf. Oh, actually, I'm going to slow it down for this bit here, because you get points every time you catch the frisbee, and I don't want to miss any. So I'll slow it right down to this ridiculous degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't know. You look at a show like Red Dwarf, where there's four main characters, and all four of them are male. There's no female characters in the first several seasons of Red Dwarf, except for Christine Kachansky as a side character, and she is a love interest. I, I, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a personal... It's a pet peeve of mine in movies. Like, I can't watch a movie that doesn't have strong female characters without getting really annoyed. Yeah, I got it. So in this, I suspect we won't meet, I can't, I honestly can't remember, I suspect we won't meet many female characters, and if we do, they'll be very, very minor side characters. I mean, in this screen are the two main characters, Adam and Delphinius, and they're both male. See, now, I didn't realise the first time I saw this that I got it was meant to be the dolphin speaking. I thought it was just a general celebratory noise, but no, that's actually the dolphin saying, I got it, and that's the big twist, I suppose. Why You talked! The hermit's out of the crab. Someone warned me that uh, this has more fish-based pun than any other game they've ever played. Not warned me. Someone told me. Delphinius! Got it. I'm um, sorry, I'm, I'm skipping. There's nothing interesting. He's saying that he's a dolphin and he's been here for a week. And we've got to go find the title character, Cetus. Oh, look at that nice little shot of them cuddling. He's, <laughs> the dolphin has eyebrows. I don't believe that dolphins have eyebrows. They might actually. They're mammals, aren't they? But I don't think dolphins have hair in general. Do dolphins have hair? Now I'm curious. Before I do the next video, I'm going to look that up and find out if dolphins have hair. Now, here's a little sick trick. You get an extra point if you play Frisbee again. <laughs> Wait, do you get points? No, 115. And here's a little Easter... Oh, crap! Oh, no, I do get a point for catching it. Maybe this isn't the version I'm thinking of. Nope, there we go, extra point. And he does something cool here, which I will show you. <laughs> Not only can he talk, but he can fly around the room. Yeah, so female main characters, I find... It's a really interesting topic, because there are very few films, uh, I think... Whoa, what, what? Oh, I thought he was going to die or something. No, he's fine. If you look at the top ten grossing movies of every single year, I think there's exactly one that has had two female main characters. Like, if, if, if there's only one movie that's had two main characters, and both of them have been female. If I do it again, do I get more points? No, they've taken the thing away from me. If I talk to him. Now, okay. This part, I have to open the hatch. As a kid, I thought that was how you open the hatch, that thing there. And I couldn't work out why I wasn't working. It took me ages to work out it's this switch here. Uh, in the history of films... Oh, I've turned the speed down. There's been one film that has two central characters, both of which are female. It's made it in the top ten highest grossing films for the year. This is what I've heard. I don't have statistics to back it up. And that is Devil Wears Prada. Anyway, that's all I have time for, so I'm going to save that there, and I will see you next time on Let's Play EcoQuest. Bye! Look, he's waving goodbye at the same time as I'm saying goodbye. That's crazy.